Leonardo Conti was a Swiss and born in 1900 in Lugano, Switzerland, and died in 1945 in Nuremberg by his own hand while in captivity by the Allies, awaiting the Nuremberg trials for Nazi war criminals. His nickname was the Swiss Sadist, and he was an Obergruppenführer, which is the equivalent of a general. This Swissy was the Reich's health leader, responsible for the murder and torture on hundreds of thousands of people, and maybe millions, and medical experiments on humans through the horrendous Nazi T4 program. The experiments by the Swiss sadists included cryogenics on living persons, thus putting alive humans into the freezer like a pack of fish sticks and watch how they slowly die away. Forced sterilization on all sorts of by the Nazis defined subhumans like Russians, Jews and most of all gypsies which his fellow sadist Swissies did on a large scale until 1996, almost the year 2000, practicing eugenics on a very large scale in Octagon, Switzerland, on perfectly healthy people. Well, there are better articles probably, but most of them are in German by by the gypsies themselves or other people so this is you know this is by swiss info so this is not really they uh they don't say everything like it was almost in the year 2000 when they stopped doing it in the very same year of 1923 when the swiss and swiss general ulrich wille whom you can see here, started financing Hitler. The Swiss sadist became a member of the SA or Sturmabteilung in 1923. There's no doubt for me that he was here in 1923. The Swiss in Switzerland with Hitler, Leonardo Conti. And he had a very low National Socialist Party number 7225 and his SS number 3982 being one of the very first and co-founder of the anti-semitic newspaper Kampfbund meaning fight union and here we can see the Swiss equivalent of the Kampfbund the Swiss Nazi newspaper of the, um, the Hitler era their man this swiss was a nazi from the beginning and one of the most important ones giving orders to millions and deciding over life and death affecting millions well this is what the swissies love to do and exerts total power It says SS Obergruppenführer, means he's a general. His lovely mother, Nana Conti, who gave life to the Swiss sadist in Switzerland, was the Reichs midwifery supreme under the Nazi Lebensborn program. Well, it looks like the whole Second World War was a Swiss family business somehow, eh? And I, I don't know what you think about this picture here, but um, these two guys with a baby, we can see the same sort of pictures nowadays in the newspapers. The two guys getting married and dressed up in leather with a baby. Doesn't it? The Swiss Templars have got their dirty little fingers in everything and their Swiss fingerprints all over World War II and all the other European wars. Rudolf Hess knew this because he was there in Zurich where he studied 
and he flew to England to warn the British people and got silenced by Hamilton and the fair aristocracy. How do these Swiss manage to look so innocent? You hardly see them. And look at his face, the left one. So innocent looking. I wonder how it's possible that these Swissies always look so innocent. How do they do it? Octagon of the Templars is the base of all evil, hiding in the Alps with its caves, snow, lakes and mountains. <laughs> 